My name is Mohammad Shafiq and I am a senior research group leader at Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. This work presents scalable, distributed uh, and self-adaptive power management for on-chip manicore systems that host malleable applications. These manicore processors typically exhibit hundreds to thousands of cores as shown in this the trend by ITRS. And an increasing number of cores typically lead to a lot of power, power density and thermal management issues. Now typically to do so we have two different approaches, a centralized power manager and a distributed power manager. A centralized power manager manages the state of all the cores in using one uh, dedicated centralized controller or manager. For that it needs the monitored information from all the cores regarding their um, utilization and underlying for example cache misses and power states and then it takes the decision. However, it has a couple of issues. For example, it could be a centralized uh, single point of failure. It could be um, having a lot of communication overhead and deciding the power states for all cores means it's also a state space exploration problem which can lead to a very long duration in making the decisions. Now to address this thing, the key challenge that we are targeting is how to enable scalable, distributed and self-adaptive dynamic power management for such kind of large-scale kilocore systems. These manicure processors typically host malleable applications. These are the applications that can change their degree of parallelism depending upon the available resources at runtime. To do so, they perform two primitive operations called expand and shrink. During the expand operation, an application requires more cores from the local resource manager to meet its throughput requirements. For example, in this example that we see that application A has expanded. Now when these cores are no more used, for example a peak performance requirement phase has gone and now there is a low utilization phase going through, then this application can return these cores to the resource manager that can be given to another competing application and to do so they perform shrink operation and for example in this example we can see that application A has shrunk and uh, the application B has expanded. Now there can be different overlapping and consecutive execution phases of these expand and shrinks that denote the resource computing scenarios as we see in this um, cartoon example and these unaligned um, periods of expand and shrink requirements that can also be shorter or very frequent and different applications can be un uh, unaware of the expand and shrink uh, phases of other applications. There could be a lot of different type of power management problems. For example, there could be high resource negotiation overhead between different um, resource managers and power managers. There could be significant wake up overhead if, for example, we are putting them in power getting state and then suddenly waking up due to another application is expanding. And there could be also different prediction related issues. This plot shows a real experiments using the Parsec application. There are three interesting points. At the point one, the application B shrinks from four to three cores and then this extra core is grabbed by the core uh, application A at point 2. Now at point 3 the application B expands again but it does not or wants to expand again but it does not get its core back. Now potential solution to this problem could be that the application A and B reserve a subset of cores that they may need in the near future and we call this concept as virtual power gating. And this example shows that, for example, here A and B has reserved these cores which are marked in uh, dark field 1 and B and C can only expand to the available cores. As soon as the A and B further requires cores, they can power on their cores. However, this leads to some kind of resource monopolization problem and which can aggravate the further scalability of the other application. So the key challenge is that to determine when and how much to reserve and how to avoid these monopolization issues. To do so, we propose an agent-based distributed uh, dynamic power management policy which associates a so-called power agent to each application that allows each application to autonomously manage its resources and the power state of those resources. Each power agent has four key blocks. The first one is called ENROS, which is an energy aware resource shrinking policy that takes these resource reservation and virtual power getting decisions by negotiating with the other power agents. 
and in case uh, the monopolization is happening that can hurt other applications then it can do some kind of temporary core lending through this take all process policy and the maps actually runs at the lower level where the power states of different cores are then managed autonomously by each power uh, agent to make effective decisions it employs a hybrid prediction policy which accounts for the underlying hardware monitors also the um, uh, application aware knowledge for example the distribution of the expand and shrink and the distribution of resource requirements in different phase our results shows that compared to the um, advanced state of the art power management policies we can achieve uh, on average up to 20% uh, energy delay square product savings while in the best case it can go up to 50% or plus also and these box plots are the summary of about 400 different and here are a couple of references for your uh, future reading and if you would like to um, no more and please stay tuned with the upcoming IEEE um, design and test special issue on computing the dark silicon era which is then going to target the next generation power problem. Thank